Hello, how y'all doing today? Listen, I would have to say this. Our ancestors, and some of you guys, your ancestors, I mean the Haitian people, okay, contributed a lot to the United States, okay? Check history, okay? They contributed a lot to the United States. Now, you need to see for yourself, and you need to hear this. Hear what this young lady has to say, okay? It'll blow your mind. So when people say, go back to your country, you have to understand, this is a part of our country too, because we helped build it. Our ancestors helped build it. They fought for their freedom. They were the first ones to fight for their freedom, okay? So just take a look at this. Uh, sir, I do always try to be kind uh, to the people who are on this show, but we're not friends. Um, you're somebody that, uh, that I am, you know, I'm glad that you're willing to come on AM Joy, and I do try to be fair to you, and I'm glad that you can see that. But as to the idea that I need to move to Haiti to be concerned about the people there, sir, you are a pastor. Uh, and in the Bible, you love to quote the Bible, so let me quote you 1 John 3, 17. It says, but whoever has the world's goods and sees his brother in need and closes his heart against him, how does the love of God abide in him? It says, let us not love with word or with tongue, but in deed and in truth. And that is what I am doing when I'm concerned about the people of the world. I, too, am the child of immigrants. And African Americans uh, and people who consider ourselves African Americans, some of us have parents who are immigrants, parents who are immigrants from Haiti, from the Caribbean, from Africa, from around the world. And by the way, since you addressed Haiti specifically, let me tell you what Haiti has done for us. We're, Haitians fought in the Revolutionary War. There were Haitians among those who helped us to do defeat Britain and free this country and make it independent. Haitians overthrew the great Napoleonic army to make possible the Louisiana Purchase, which would not have happened but for that revolution and France's defeat. Haitians built and created the culture of New Orleans. Now, you can't hate New Orleans, right? But that culture could not have existed without the ex-migration of people from Haiti to New Orleans to escape because Haiti had been overthrown. The colony had been overthrown. Haitians live in this country and contribute as doctors, as lawyers, uh, as nurses, as scientists, as statesmen. They are a part of the fabric of this country and, sir, African Americans include Haitian Americans. So, Pastor Burns, I hope that you will open your heart to the people of this world, to the people of this country, and do your duty as a Christian to love your neighbor as yourself. But thanks for sharing your views. Up next, Donald Trump in his own words. Stay with us.